Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your old pal, Mr. Butter, coming back at you. And as soon as I hit record, it started sleeting out here. So hopefully I can make it through this video. Today, I just wanted to compare two shoes that are mid versions of a couple of my favorite silhouettes. I got a pair of Jordan 1 mids and a pair of Forum mids. And they're both above average for typical mid releases of those shoes. So I just want to do a little side by side comparison. And I don't know if I have a favorite. If you have a favorite out of these two, then let me know. I'd be interested in seeing what the masses have to say about it. But they're both definitely really dope looking. And I really like both these pairs a lot. If you're into kicks and you feel like hanging out, then hit that subscribe button. Let's look at these Jordan 1 mids and these Forum mids. All right, and before we get started, I've got to say thank you so much to everybody who has subscribed. I just crossed 2,000 subs, and whenever I started the channel and, and I saw that people were actually watching and whatnot, I told some of my buddies and some of my family members that my goal was 300 subs by 2022. And here we are at 2000 and I'm just so pumped for what's to come. This year I did over 300 reviews, which I would have never believed that if somebody would have told me that I'd do that many my first year having a channel. However, there's no sign of slowing down. I'm just going to keep on making content of shoes that I think are dope, things that I find are interesting, and I would love it if more people joined us. And I'm very grateful to all of you who have already subscribed, and I've really had a blast just talking kicks with y'all. But anyhow, let's get into these mids. And first off, we'll start with the boxes. This box actually reminds me of the box that I got for the Leaders Chicago Forum mids. There was a reflective pair, and then there was also just a real soft leather pair uh, that was from Leader Chicago and those boxes also had the Chicago 2020 on the side so I don't know if these mids were for a specific event but it almost seems like they were and they just seem a little more special than what typical forum mids are and the tag just reads forum the colors are cloud white light blue cloud white and this is a size 10. I bought these off of eBay for I think 120 bucks. And actually, shout out to C Dub. He let me know that these were available. And as soon as I saw them, I knew that was something that I'd be into. And then the box for the Jordan 1 mids. This is another pair that I gotta say, come on, Nike. Why are you giving us only women's sizes of shoes this dope? But this is a women's Air Jordan 1 mid. The colors are white, black, university blue. It is a women's size 12, which equates to a men's size 10 and a half. And the retail on this was 115. I paid more than that on GOAT. I think I got them for 160 on GOAT before fees and all that, which probably had it around 175, 180 or so. And then here's a look at both pairs. I can't tell you which is my favorite. I think the University Blue, anytime I see a shoe, a classic Nike Jordan silhouette that has University Blue on it, it piques my interest. These Forum Mids are also just dope. They're from around the same period. The Adidas Forum, which I have in my left hand, it's lower here. These came out in 84 and the Jordan 1 came out in 85. They're both really close to the same era. I've got to tell you immediately the materials on this form mid just stand out compared to the Jordan 1 mid but this color blocking on this mid I feel like takes the cake just because I love that black mudguard and the black eye stays, the black swoosh. I think on the white base of this shoe, that is just such a classic combination. Both are just insanely dope shoes. This one I got for much more of a bargain, but 
I feel like this has to be a special release or something just because the quality of the materials on these are insane and like I showed you on the box earlier just that Chicago 2020 I think that these were probably for some kind of tournament or something that never happened due to the Rona thanks a lot Rona but anyhow these shoes are on eBay and they're right around a hundred bucks so if you're interested in that definitely check these out I don't think you'll be disappointed the leather on these does not feel synthetic this doesn't feel like the exhibits or another forum mid that has a certain percentage of recycled material or whatever this feels like leather that you get on forum 84s like even some of the og pairs it's just got natural edges on all the leather and i I'm really really impressed with the quality even on the three stripes like every little section of leather you just get those little ripples whenever you press on it and everything and I just think these things are really top shelf especially with the fact that you can grab them for about a hundred bucks and then this Jordan 1 it's only in women's sizing so if you wear larger than a men's ten and a half then you're just out of luck as far as these go the leather on these is nowhere near the quality of the leather on the forum mid but I think what it lacks in quality it makes up for in style and honestly I mean these things are sharp they look so nice and clean I really really like this pair But here comes the hail again, so let's just go ahead and do a quick rundown comparison. The outsole on these Form 84s has like a nice antique look almost. It's like a cream color, and I really like that. And it is the classic Form 84 tread pattern. It's got that suction cup under the forefoot, Adidas branding there in the midfoot. And of course, this is a Jordan 1 tread pattern. It's the same that you'll get on lows, mids, and highs. It's got that pivot point under the forefoot and Nike branding there in the middle. And the color on this is University Blue. And I think both look dope. Both give you that retro basketball feel. I don't know that I have a preference out of the outsoles. But there's a look at that. The Jordan 1 mid comes up to meet a bright white midsole and it's got bright white stitching looks nice and clean the antique white color continues up to the midsole on the form 84 and that's just the same color another thing that stands out on the form 84 is on the inside of the shoe you see that dillinger webbing and i just think that's a neat touch that's pretty cool but then we also have this heel anchor that we get on all form 84s and that's like a cream color it's a hard plastic and i just like the way that looks on there and of course the jordan one doesn't have that it just has the cup sole but then coming up most of this upper is all just white but the leather is really really remarkable I'm hoping that you can see all the little ripples and everything on there, but it just looks really, really nice. And of course, we've got white leather. It's a synthetic type of leather for the base of this shoe. It's got those black overlays, and I probably prefer the look of this shoe more, but the quality and the comfort is definitely higher on this one. We've got University Blue up here around the collar area. And we've got blue up here around the collar area of this shoe. 